Tell us about the, how popular Monday's exercise was for him. Go to www.philperry.tv. Wanted to make it easy. philperry.tv. Take a look. Join and take a look at what's going on over there. Phil, how many Facebook? You said Facebook over messages? Over 600, man. Can you imagine that? So you guys are making In this happen. In a 30-hour period. See, for him. You guys are making this hap happen for him. You understand what I mean? Yes. So for me, <laughs> when when you have that kind of accessibility to people, and a lot of these people, they were familiar with some of my music. Right. But right. they weren't familiar that I had a TV channel right. on the internet. Right. They didn't right. know my my uh, uh, anything about my web page or right. my website. Right. I mean... That's the jo That's the miracle of the digital age. It does really create a level playing field as long as your quality control doesn't have too many peaks and valleys in the right. digital age. And you're lucky that they're so forgiving. The most important thing is to get it out there. Just like, and I'm gonna show that. Cause we're gonna end the, this new stuff and go to some musical things. But we're gonna do that by going to some clips. From Monday's celebration of Phil Perry's birthday. So you can see an example of how we are using this new technology to do unique and different things and build community. You know, baby love, you can just jump in on any part of this conversation. <laughs> with you. I feel like I came in and kind of bogarted and I really didn't want to do that. She had her moments. She yeah. was we gave her all the love and she boy, she had Mario handled, man. I got she always has shit. me handled. <laughs> Somehow, as I see her, I, I don't think there would be any problem with anybody getting handled in go. a particular <laughs> regard. But that also depends on the individual. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, we had some wonderful performances on Monday. Let's take a look. I want to see it. First of all, let's take a little piece and go to this little intro segment. Mm. We got the urban buffer, Vic, as always. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Always explain to him. The megabyte crunch. Let's take a look. I'll leave the mic, son. Come on, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. I got live feed. Everybody, welcome to the Phil Perry post broadcast birthday after party. Listen, totally unplanned like this. I have absolutely no idea what they're going to do. However, I know that it will be good. For those of you out there watching in cyberspace, thank you for hanging in for the 10 minutes that it took Dick and I to run our asses from the studio. I don't have an ass. And set this up. <laughs> but you will appreciate that we are now continuing our broadcast from another part of the facility. And as it turns out, the rumors are Frank McComb, Phil Perry, folks singing and playing. Do I need to bring more mics, Vic, or something? Do we need background? We have background? With... Who need, knows? I need a woman. It's going to be live here, y'all. <laughs> I, I need a woman. Let me, can I make a pitch? I need a woman. Wow. Be reminded of your glitch. <laughs> now, I'm just showing a little bit of this intro segment, you guys. Just a little bit. Because I want to make sure you see a few other things, okay? So I just want to show a little intro. Because yeah. I had to jump to some of the guests. Yeah. Had to. Yeah. Have to. And that's why I'm just cutting it around. Now, it goes, it's, it's going up to the internet. You can see it in full. Got to show you this. Yeah. Frank McComb. I trust that you all are familiar with Frank. He is a exactly. jewel. <laughs> a, a jewel of a musician. And his musicianship is only superseded by the kind of individual that he is. All right. Thank you. Now, you guys, this is a camera mic, so it's not right off the board. It's a camera mic. But you got to check this out. And he has some bad Phil Perry stories that he hasn't shared with everybody. So, so I'm going to give him the opportunity. To <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, man. More, more, more. I can tell a joke. 
Black man, white man, Chinese man. <laughs> you sing something, Frank. I don't know what to sing. No, I try sing a song. Sing a song. Uh, sing a song. The area. Uh, so they, they just, they went on a video from a, a gravity yeah. magazine. I, I try and people are like, oh, yeah. right. They're making it tough on you, Frank, with that no boom, yeah. no bad old. Yeah, man. Oh, God, man. You're looking at the uh, Urban Foster. I can't do it. You know, as you can see, a wonderful gathering of friends of Phil. It's what it looks like. It was a gas. It was fun. It really was a lot of fun. Frank McComb, virtuosity, unrehearsed, 
man. Just sit down at the piano and play. Nice. You know? Yeah. How did you come to meet Frank McCole? I had been hearing of Frank for years before I finally had the opportunity to meet him. Okay, okay. I met him on the Capital Jazz Cruise oh. last year. Huh. Huh. And we just kind of clicked. I went to the piano bar and listened to him, and he talked me into singing, and he talked Lily into singing, and he talked Patty Austin into singing, yeah. and and after and when they when the as the morning sun was rising. I said, you know something, man, when I get the opportunity, I'm going to try to incorporate some of what you do in what I'm doing. Huh. Huh. Because I believe, in, I believe you when I hear you. And you can't say that about a lot of people today. That's Unique, true. you know, a lot of people haven't heard of Frank McComb. No, they haven't. Unique boy, keyboardist. He, now he's a singer, songwriter. Yes. Producer, yep. producer, arranger. arranger. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's, he's full Killer, spectrum. Oh, yeah. And you, as you see, that voice reminds people of Donnie. Yep. You know Hathaway. It does. He has. He does. It's a soulfulness. The and he, he's another one of those artists that a lot of you know we say so often. And these are folks that you should have really heard of. Really, this is a marvelous secret almost. Yeah. The, the, the people the old folks know. used to have a saying about it. They used to say, when they heard other people in you. They would say that you had been here before. <laughs> <laughs> so they must say that about you too, my brother. They, they do. <laughs> well, tell you what. Maybe not to my face, but I'm sure they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get ready to you guys. That's been the news segment. We're going to get ready to go to some sports. Mm -hmm. As you know, Phil Perry loves sports. Mm -hmm. So if we just play, we'll give it, Victor a little transition, or you want to go right to it? You can do a transition. Since we're, so he requested a transition. Because, you know, I'm trying and to And when we were just admiring that track, Everything Must Change. Yes. I like to do what I call the double play. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The pack stereo double play. <laughs> so let's take a look at the track once more. This time featuring the maestro, Mr. Phil Perry. Nothing stays the same. Everyone will change. Nothing and no one goes unchanged. The young become the Mysteries do unfold For that's the way of time Nothing and no one goes unchanged There are not many things in life Except rain comes from the clouds And the sun lights up the sky And our hummingbirds do fly Winter turns Yes, winter turns Yes, winter turns Winter turns to spring 